Hi there. In this video, we're going to do something pretty fun. We're going to have a blind sound comparison between two instruments. One of them is going to be made of wood, and then the other instrument is going to be made of carbon fiber. I've used both instruments for gigs and recordings, and um, I find that um, I have preferences for which instrument to use, for what style of music, and what kind of playing I'm doing. The most common question I get when I bring my carbon fiber cello to a gig is whether it sounds different than a wooden cello. A major benefit of using a carbon fiber instrument is that it is pretty much indestructible. So you don't have to be as um, concerned as you might with bringing your wooden cello to a particular kind of gig. But in terms of sound, I'm also curious of what exactly are some of the differences between these two instruments. And I think that this blind comparison video will be really interesting for us all. These audio samples are going to be uh, blind. So that way we can try guessing which cello is the wooden one and which one is the carbon fiber. Uh, let me know in the comments if you can uh, tell between each instrument within the samples. And um, also if you have a, any preference towards one instrument for a particular kind of playing. For the first excerpt, I'm going to be playing on the low C and G string. For the second excerpt, I'll be playing the end of the prelude of Bach's uh, first cello suite. And this is going to highlight the upper register of the cello. <laughs> For the third excerpt, I'll be playing some pizzicato. Um, I'll be playing Jerry Mulligan's Bernie's Tomb. Thanks so much for joining me for today's video. Um, I think it's really interesting how each instrument has its own personality and the, the nuances that you can pull from each instrument can help in playing different styles of music but also in different contexts as well. So yeah, if you enjoy this content and want to be notified for future videos, uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, hit the bell. And if there's anything that was really interesting or maybe surprising, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you in the next video.